Hi guys, today I have something a little bit different. Um, not a lot of you will know that my actual full-time job is an IT support engineer. So um, I'm building PCs as well and this is my PC build here that I use for my video editing and whatnot. And my cable management is absolutely pants. Um, I don't really take much care in that whatsoever. But today I'm going to show you how to install an M.2 SSD drive. At the moment I have this solid state drive by Corsair, 120 gig, just a normal SATA interface and I've had this about five or six years but I need something a little bit bigger and a little bit faster and these M.2s are definitely that. So I've got this one here, the 6 series from Intel, uh, P600 and the interface on this is um, is M.2, but it's PCI Express 3 times 4 NVMe, and I think you get writes writes of about 1500 megabytes and reads of about 550 megabytes. So it should improve my performance a hell of a lot. So I have the Maximus V3 Gene motherboard right there, and I have the two PCI Express slots there, and just there you can see the M.2 slot. That is where the SSD is going to go. So let's quickly take this out of the box. That's your hard drive. It's quite incredible, really. Uh, this bit, whoa, not a good start. So that gold bit there, you don't really want to touch that to uh, sort of prevent any sort of um, damage. Now I'm going to zoom in as best as I can. I'm going to show you as best as I can on here, guys. There is the actual one there. It's exactly like putting RAM into a laptop. So I'm going to slowly, you can see it right at the top there, look. It goes right at the top. Push, that's in. Now, as you can see, it is still up and it's on like a spring there, yeah? Now, when you push that down, you can see on the left there, there is a screw hole. In there, you need to pop a screw in, which I'll show you now. Okay, that's the screw that I'm going to be putting in. It's got a little spring on it. You don't actually get the screw with it, um, which is quite annoying. It took me ages to find a screw that would fit into the, the little holes because they are small. And I also suggest you use a screwdriver with a magnetic end on it. Mine isn't, so I'm going to struggle here a bit, so bear with me. I'll try not to block the view, but it's pretty, it's pretty obvious what I'm trying to do here. Just getting it to sit in there first of all, it's just not... Okay, it's biting now, so screwing that down. Okay, that's it, not too tight. So that is now holding the SSD in place. Now, what you also got to consider is, I did have my graphics card in the top there, which covered that way, so... I'm now going to have to move my graphics card down to the bottom. Uh, here is my graphics card, so that will go down below. This is a 750 Ti graphics card. So this will go down on the PCI Express slot down here. Like that. This just clips in like that. So then the SSD will be untouched. On there, I don't really want to put the, um, the graphics card over there. Now, while I'm also here, at the moment I've got one stick of eight gig there, um, and it's only in single memory mode as well, which doesn't perform as well as two times four sticks. So, I'm going to take this eight gig stick out, a crucial memory eight gig, and we'll replace it with Corsair Vengeance 300 megahertz to four gig sticks. Should get better performance that way when they're in dual mode. Let's line the notch up there. Should just slide in. Cool, that's one. And the second one in there. Cool. 
cool. So we have the 8 gig of RAM installed, the SSD, and the graphics card back in there. So guys, that pretty much concludes my M.2 SSD installation on my PC. And hopefully we'll be able to improve my editing and the speed in which I can render my videos. I'll include a link in the description for um, the SSD and, and the RAM if you want to take a look at them. Okay guys, if you have any questions, please comment below. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.